Setting the tweak on your T4 is a fairly simple process, which I will guide you through now. It's done in several steps, which some of the steps I've already done. I've already set the camber, and I've already tweaked the anti-roll bars on my car. There's already a video on my channel about the anti-roll bars, but um, the camber, I think most of you know how to set it. I use it with, I use the hoodie setup gauges to set the camber. And finally, I make the car ready to race. I put the tires on the car with the battery inside, mounted the way it's supposed to run. Um, okay, so the right height, the right height gauge, you slide it underneath the chassis. We always measure the right height in two spots, the front and the back. And at, at the setup sheets, we, we usually speak about the X's, they're marked here, these two X's. They mark the spot where we measure the right height. So I slide the right height gauge underneath these spots. Here is 5.2, needs to come down a little because I want it to be 5, just like that. You should just gently slide it underneath the chassis and it stops right there. So that's mean, that means it's five. And at the rear, let's see, it's 5.6 almost, a bit too high. So we need to lower it. Same, same process here. So I tried to loosen the preload by the same amount on, on both sides. And that's done, 5.2, right where I want it to be. Check the front again, so it's not out of level. That's done, right height is checked. The reason for measuring the right height at the X's is, for example, on the carbon chassis, you'll have a lot of wear at the front, at this section here, and at the back when you drive on asphalt. So these parts of the chassis, they're gonna wear and uh, you're gonna have an uh, inconsistent right height measurement. That's why I always measure here in these two spots where the wear is uh, a lot less apparent. Moving on to make sure the top deck is not tweaked in any way. I mean, if you had a big crash, you need to check the straightness of the top deck. You need to take it out and look for for. Um, it being bent or something being broken inside of the, the carbon. But if you just took the car off the track and you want to reset the, the tension of the top deck, what I do is I put it on the 10 millimeter blocks, just like this. I loosen all the screws. It's not necessary to use a tweak stick, which is very popular. Uh, it's a pretty trick item that is popular on the market since a couple of years. It's not really necessary. I only I would only use it if I know that the chassis is slightly bent, and then I would use a tweak stick to sort of force the chassis into into where it needs to be, but only temporarily. Like, let's say you don't have time to change the chassis and you want to do a run, I would use the tweak stick to uh, to push down the the chassis onto the board before tightening the top deck. But in this case, I know my chassis is straight. I know my top deck is, is new, so I'm just gonna tighten it. I start with the screws closest to the center. So right here. I just tighten them enough to stay in place. I don't over tighten them. I don't want too much tension on the top deck. You can also use a tool which controls the torque that you that you apply to the screws like a torque measurement screwdriver which is really a really nice way to do this accurately but if you've done it uh, often enough you, you sort of get a good feel for how much to tighten them so that's all done and we can move on to the next step the next step of the tweak process is to set your down stops so as you can see, I already put my car on the 10 millimeter blocks, resting like that, straight. There's no rocking or anything, as we we made sure from retightening the top deck. So now you take your hoodie downstop gauge, you slide it underneath the the arm, 
right under the hinge pin you see the spot where it's supposed to be measured at an angle and in this case it's 5.8 under the front arm Let's do the same on the other side 6 doesn't fit with 5.8 now we'll do the same in the rear In the rear, you measure from the rear, and in the front, you measure from the front of the arm. So that's the rule that we have, and that's how the team is measuring downstop. Here it's supposed to be 4.6. 4.6 just fits. Actually, I have to tighten it just a little bit. Yeah, now it's perfect, 4.6, do the same on the other side. Yeah, remember that you need to measure from the rear of the rear arm and from the front of the front arm. Moving on to the last step in the process and the most important one, which is the lift of the suspension. So I've installed the setup wheels already and what you do is simply you put the car on the flat surface, take your screwdriver, just slide it into the into the little little hole which is in the center of the chassis that marks the center line. So you need to put the screwdriver into that little hole, which means you're lifting from the dead center of the chassis. And you simply find a way to slightly lift it off the, the setup board to see which wheel lifts first if any it might be perfect already but it's rarely perfect and uh, you need to, to figure out a technique that works for you but i usually just gently lift it off the setup board to see which wheel comes up first so now i can see that this wheel here is actually coming off a little bit later a little bit later than this which means that you need to do the opposite on the other side of the car at the other end so normally I will tighten this but actually what you need to do is you need to loosen this so I need to think about it as a, as a cross a cross loosening and tightening so if this is coming off later it means it doesn't have enough preload but you actually need to do the opposite on the other side so I would loosen this a little bit and tighten this so you tweak the car on one end from the other end if that makes sense that's already better then I just do the same on the other end same procedure if it's off actually pretty good it's, it's slightly slightly uh, earlier on this side and this one stays on the floor longer so it means that I would do the opposite loosen here or tighten here just think about what you make what makes logical sense and you do it on the opposite side of the car if it's not if it's not coming up at the same time you might check for other tweaks in the car such as shock towers you might need to loosen the four screws in the shock towers see if there's any tweak there check for bent parts check for bent uh, aluminium parts in the suspension or the bulkheads make sure your shock lengths are the same make sure your springs are all equal and not damaged and so on and so forth there's many reasons why the car might be tweaked but i've shown you the basics of checking the tweak and um, if you cannot sort it out, refer to this tutorial and you might send me a message if, you, if you're struggling. No problem, I'll, I'll help you.